Hey guys, today I'm going to make a video um, specifically for beginners on how to read and find the codes on your vehicle, like a check engine light code. Um, there's ways to do that without buying a scanner. And the only tool you need is a paper clip. And I'm going to do two methods or two different checks. I'm going to check my history of codes using my digital dash. And for this test, I'm going to check my FX3 adjustable suspension. And to check that and get my codes for that, it's going to be a flash code. So I will show you how to check a flash code and how to read a flash code. Um, it sounds really simple and either you know this or you don't and I'm learning this myself so I'll, it was a little confusing at first to figure out the flashes but it really it all made sense and it's actually it's actually pretty nice. Um, you'll be able to read your codes if you have a 1990 through 1995 Corvette you will be able to read your codes with these two methods. Now, 1990 through 93 are OBD1, and 1994 and 95 and 96 have an OBD2 connector. 1994 and 95 are still an OBD1 computer, it just has an OBD2 connector. So 1996 is its own animal, we won't be covering that. My test will be performed on a 1992, but I will show you how to perform a test on a 1995. And it will be up to you to um, either look in your service manual or look online to break down the codes that you're receiving. When deciphering the codes, it'll be important to make sure you're deciphering the code from that particular mode that you're getting the code in. For an example, a code 65 in mode 1 it's going to be different than a code 65 in mode 9 which by the way there's three modes you'll get a 1, a 4, and a 9 So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to check the codes for my FX3 adjustable suspension. I'm going to do that by jumping two pins, A which is the ground and C which is the third one over and I'm doing that with a paper clip. I'm going to jump A and C and count my flashes and I'm going to explain to you how to count flashes. Now I'm going to turn the key to the accessory position and what's going to happen is the service ride control light is going to start the flash should be as it should flash number 12 three times should be as it should flash number 12 three times one flash two flash that's a 12 one flash, two flash, that's a 12. One flash, two flash, 12. Now I'm going to read codes. One, one, two, three. So I have a code 13. It's going to do that three times. One, one, two, three. 
one, one, two, three. So now the next code. One, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. I have a code 14. One, one, two, three, four. So it does every code a series of three times. One, one, two. Now it's repeating code 12, which means it's done. I have two codes. I have a 13 and a 14. We can also read codes on the digital dash. So let me uh, activate that mode. Now to read codes on the digital dash, it's slightly different. We still want to use the upper right corner, but now I want to go to the lower left corner and that's so lower left corner, upper right corner. Okay, so now let's check the codes on the dash. It's going to run through three modes, a 1, a 4, and a 9. And off the top of my head, I don't know exactly what those are. I can't remember. So here we go. Okay, it's in mode 1, 12. No codes in one. That's what the three dotted lines mean. Now it's in mode four. H23. No more codes. Nine. H. 65 and that's it now it's 1.0 and I can clear codes if I want and I'm not gonna do that right now well I guess I can so let's clear codes clear codes that's over here we use the trip computer so we're going to use the top button. We're going to use all, th all three of these buttons for resetting the computer. So the top one is English metric. The middle one is trip odometer. And the bottom one is trip reset. So I hit the trip odometer and I've got one, 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 two, one three, one four, one seven. Now hold in the English metric button and I just erase the codes in mode one. To get out of that, you hit the trip reset button you hold it it brought me to the next mode now I go back to trip odometer I did hit code go to 4.7 hit English metric any codes that were in there were reset Hold trip reset brings me out of that mode to the brings me to mode nine. Now trip odometer will bring me to 9.7. English metric will erase any codes in 9.7. Hold trip reset. I'm out of that mode. So I'm done. Let's turn the key off. Let's turn it back on and see if our codes reset. 
one C twelve No codes four no codes nine no codes so I've just erased all the codes in my memory